Santa Fe features a sculpted athletic appearance. Its wide track leads to a confident stance for better handling and increased interior room. The Santa Fe is available in three trim levels, GLS, SE, and Limited. Integrated halogen fog lamps are standard on the SE and Limited. Moving around to the side, the Santa Fe has color keyed door handles with chrome inserts on the Limited. The GLS has 17 inch alloy wheels. The Limited and SE have 18 inch Euro flange wheels. The heated side mirrors are body color on SE and Limited and can be folded out of the way. At the rear, the styling cues continue with a body color liftgate handle that features a chrome accent on the Limited. The Limited has a badge, as do all wheel drive models. The rear styling has a clean, sleek appearance. A windshield wiper and washer is standard. The Limited and SE have a body color rear spoiler, which uses LEDs in the center light. They illuminate more quickly than conventional incandescent bulbs, which gives drivers behind more time to react. They also maintain a longer life, so they need replacement less often. Standard roof rack side rails help define the Santa Fe's clean side profiling while adding functionality. Cross rails are standard on SE and limited and optional on GLS. The cross rails can be adjusted using one hand levers on either side. The micro antenna keeps the profile low and sleek while maximizing the radio signal strength. The spiral shaft design reduces wind noise. And continuing Hyundai's approach of incorporating safety from the ground up, all Santa Fe models feature as standard equipment four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. Santa Fe's ABS includes electronic brake force distribution, a four-channel, four-sensor system that applies braking force independently to each wheel. This helps maintain vehicle steering control while braking under difficult road conditions. It also helps maintain control during emergency or hard braking situations. For a more comfortable ride, Santa Fe uses a McPherson strut front suspension, which is designed to improve stability. For improved handling and road feel, it has a multi-link rear suspension. And to reduce body lean when cornering, stabilizer bars in the front the and Santa Fe's real power is under the hood. In the clean, streamlined engine compartment, there are hydraulic struts to support the hood when lifted. Two engines are available a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder and a 3.5-liter V6. The four-cylinder engine produces 175 horsepower and 169 pound-feet of torque. The V6 engine generates 276 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. Both engines feature a lightweight aluminum block and head, double overhead cams, four valves per cylinder. They have the power to take your customers wherever they want to go and use regular unleaded fuel. Continually variable valve timing provides optimum performance and economy in any driving conditions. Whether stop and go traffic, highway speeds, or mountain driving, the Santa Fe engine is always timed to deliver peak power and efficiency. Hyundai engineers incorporated the latest in automotive engine technology, multi-point fuel injection, variable intake, and a maintenance-free steel timing chain, and all with an estimated ULEV ultra-low emission vehicle certification. Depending on engine and transmission combinations, fuel mileage estimates range from an estimated 19 to 20 miles per gallon for the city to an estimated 25 to 28 miles per gallon for highway driving. All Santa Fe's have an 18-gallon fuel tank. Be sure to become familiar with engine fluid level checkpoints so you can share this information with your customers. This includes the oil dipstick and cap, radiator fluid reservoir, windshield washer fluid, brake fluid reservoir, and power steering fluid. For service and maintenance information, consult the owner's manual. This completes your look at the hood area of the Santa Fe. A six-speed manual transmission is standard with a GLS four-cylinder engine front-wheel drive model. Hyundai's six-speed Shiftronic automatic transmission is optional on the GLS front-wheel drive and standard on the GLS all-wheel drive. A six-speed Shiftronic automatic is standard with the GLS V6 SE and limited four-cylinder and V6 engines. All-wheel drive Santa Fe's feature an electronic system that automatically routes power to the wheels, offering the best traction. Under normal conditions, most of the power goes to the front wheels. But if the front wheels start to spin or the vehicle weight shifts under cornering, more power goes to the wheels with the best grip. The AWD lock switch sets the torque at a constant 50-50 split between the front and rear wheels, 
which can improve traction in certain conditions. This setting provides all-wheel drive up to approximately 20 to 25 miles per hour. At faster speeds, the vehicle will transition into front-wheel drive, unless the sensors indicate that all-wheel drive is needed. As the vehicle slows down below 20 miles per hour, the vehicle will return to a constant 50-50 split all-wheel drive. An electrochromic auto-dimming rearview mirror is standard on the Santa Fe SE and Limited. This mirror automatically dims during night driving conditions to reduce glare from headlights and increase rear nighttime visibility. The integrated compass keeps drivers headed in the right direction. For limited models, another feature of this mirror is a Homelink transceiver. Homelink eliminates the need to bring along individual handheld transmitters. It can be programmed to activate garage door openers, gates, home lighting and security systems or other RF devices. A variety of dealer and port installed accessories are available for Santa Fe. And with all this, Santa Fe delivers advanced standard safety equipment with six standard airbags, including two full-length roof-mounted side curtain airbags with rollover sensors that extend to the second row seats, front two-stage airbags, and front seat-mounted side impact airbags. When the rollover sensors detect a potential rollover, the control module triggers the side curtain airbags. Front seat active head restraints and an occupant classification system. This advanced system is designed to evaluate weight and position of the front passenger seat occupant and determine whether or not to deploy the passenger airbag. Customers need to know that Hyundai and the federal government strongly recommend placing child safety seats and children 12 and under in the rear seat of the vehicle. The front seat belts have shoulder height adjustments for a more comfortable, secure fit, and pretensioners with load limiters. This completes your look at the driver's seat area of the Santa Fe. The driver's seat area is really where the Santa Fe shows its uncompromising mix of comfort, convenience, and safety. Power side view mirrors are standard. Heating elements that activate automatically when the rear window defroster is turned on are standard. An eight-way power driver's seat with power lumbar support adjustment is standard on the Limited and SE. The tilt and telescoping steering column lets the driver place the steering wheel where it's most comfortable and the gauges most visible. Just release the latch and pull or push the wheel into position. The steering wheel shows a trim level difference. Limited and SE steering wheels are leather wrapped. GLS steering wheels are not. Handy steering wheel mounted audio controls are standard. Controls include mode for selecting AM, FM, XM, iPod, USB port, or CD, volume, a select switch for recalling set radio stations or choosing CD tracks, and Bluetooth controls. For convenient access to the driver, the cruise control on-off switch is mounted onto the steering wheel with the rest of the cruise system controls. Bluetooth hands-free communication is standard. There are two different Bluetooth driver interfaces for the Santa Fe. The first system uses buttons mounted on the steering wheel, while the second, packaged with the optional navigation system, also uses the display screen. To pair a mobile device with the first system, the driver uses the green call button on the steering wheel. Then, follow the system voice prompts to select pairing. The system will supply the passkey needed to connect the mobile device once the device is paired. The driver uses the green call button to make a call, and uses the red disconnect button to end a call. To pair a mobile device with the optional touchscreen system, first press the green call button on the steering wheel. Then press the settings button on the phone display page and follow the on-screen prompts. The system will supply the passkey code that is needed for input into the mobile device. Once the device is paired, the system can download the mobile device's phone book. Be aware that different mobile devices have differing levels of system compatibility, and this may affect the phone book download. To make a call, press the green call button. To end a call, press the red disconnect button. Santa Fe's optional navigation system conveniently integrates all audio features into the in-dash unit, AM, FM, XM satellite radio, and single CD player. The driver can operate the system using voice commands after pressing this button on the steering wheel or the unit's push buttons and touchscreen display. The sophisticated navigation system provides coverage for the continental United States. It includes touchscreen functionality, 5 million points of interest, and audio and visual prompts. 
With these prompts, the driver can control the system and get directions without looking away from the road. Destinations can be set using a marker point, emergency category, address search, points of interest, business phone number, intersection search, and up to 20 previous destinations. XM Nav Traffic displays constantly refreshing current traffic conditions for the desired route. Drivers in major metro markets can access additional information on accidents and incidents, road construction, average speed, and estimated driving time. Backing out of tight spaces and avoiding mishaps is much easier with the available backup camera. It uses the navigation display to show the driver a clear view immediately behind the vehicle. Santa Fe's power rack and pinion steering system gives it a tight turning radius. It's engine speed sensitive to provide greater assist when needed for situations like parking. Automatic headlights are also standard on the SE and Limited and part of the premium package on the GLS. Drivers can set the lights to automatic with this setting. Further enhancing visibility, Santa Fe comes standard with two-speed variable intermittent windshield wipers. The sporty yet elegant instrument cluster is easy to read and interpret. The standard trip computer displays important driver details such as miles to empty, elapsed time, distance traveled, average miles per gallon, and average speed. The standard tire pressure monitoring system will display an alert if it detects low tire pressure. Inside the passenger seat area, the Santa Fe offers more comfort and convenience. Power windows are standard on all models. Locking the power door lock automatically locks all doors in the vehicle. Another comfort feature, heated front seats, standard on the limited and SE all-wheel drive models. In addition, the passenger's door includes a bottle holder and storage bin. Santa Fe offers three audio systems. The standard 172-watt audio system has an AM-FM with XM satellite radio, a CD player, and MP3 file capability with six speakers. A premium audio system comes with the optional navigation system. This system adds a subwoofer and has a 360-watt external amplifier. An Infinity Logic 7 surround sound audio system comes standard on the Limited, offering the ultimate in auditory luxury. It includes 10 Infinity speakers, a 605-watt external digital amplifier, speed compensating volume control, and Sirius XM satellite radio. When limited models are equipped with the optional navigation system, they gain the upgrade of Infinity speakers and an Infinity amp. All Santa Fe's include a three-month trial subscription to XM satellite radio. An auxiliary jack and USB port is standard on all models. These jacks allow occupants to connect a USB flash drive or MP3 players or iPods can be connected to utilize the vehicle audio system for total sound quality. For full functionality, a Hyundai iPod auxiliary cable is required, available as an accessory. With this cable, an iPod plays music through the vehicle speakers and is also charged. And for greater convenience and safety, the iPod's music is controlled through the vehicle's audio head unit rather than the iPod itself. Air conditioning is standard on all Santa Fe's. The manual system on the GLS and SE has an attractive layout, simple and easy to operate. The dual front automatic climate control on the Limited maintains a set temperature by automatically controlling the heating and air conditioning systems. It can regulate a separate temperature for both the passenger and the driver and select the proper ventilation outlets separately as well. These outlets can be closed off. A clean air ionizer is included with the automatic climate control. It generates positive and negative ions that seek out and surround airborne particles such as allergens, mold, and bacteria and make them inactive so they have no harmful effects. The system's cabin air filter traps particles from the ionizer as well as cleaning dust and other pollutants from the air that come in through the outside vents. For fresh air overhead, a power tilt and slide sunroof with a sliding shade is standard unlimited and optional on SE with a premium package. Every Santa Fe features solar glass in the windshield and front windows. This helps block damaging UV rays and keeps the interior warmer in winter and cooler in summer. Well-located cup holders and storage in the armrest, along with a 12-volt power outlet for cell phone charging and other electronic uses. The glove compartment has a locking, dampened lid and a light. The vanity mirror has a light that comes on when the cover is opened. And the map lights in the overhead console are designed to direct light downward without distracting the driver. 
The overhead console also includes a holder for sunglasses. This completes your look at the passenger seat area of the Santa Fe. It's inside where the Santa Fe really stands out, with an attractive design, simple access, and lots of thoughtful touches. Once inside the Santa Fe, you'll find there's plenty of room for passengers to stretch out and make themselves comfortable. Refer to the Santa Fe features list on Hyundai Sales Training Online. Use the submenu for color for details on interior seat coverings and color choices. The 6040 seat packs can be folded independently, so owners can carry long items and still take several people along. The seat packs are adjustable to 10 different positions. And autofold headrests move out of the way automatically when the seat back is lowered. Santa Fe's roomy versatility comes with advanced standard safety equipment, such as three point seat belts for all seating positions. Santa Fe comes with child proof locks, which prevent children from exiting the vehicle unsupervised. And child seat latch anchors make installation of child seats convenient and secure. Latch, which stands for lower anchors and tethers for children allows easy installation of latch-equipped child seats using anchors at the bottom of the seat and tethers. When secured this way, the vehicle seat belt does not have to be used. Thoughtful features for the rear passengers include a fold-down armrest with dual cup holders, plus bottle holders and storage bins in each side door. Plus, a 12-volt power outlet gives rear passengers access to games and other electronic devices. A clever design element is the heating and cooling vent built into each B pillar, these swivel and can be adjusted to open or close completely. And storage pockets on the backs of the front seats give the rear passengers space to stay organized. This completes your look at the rear seat area of the Santa Fe. Santa Fe's generous cargo area gives you some strong advantages over the competition. A recessed grip area on the lift gate and a separate strap double the options for closing it, making it more convenient for people of different heights. The sizable opening makes it easy to load large, heavy items into the cargo area. And you can fit plenty in here with 78.2 cubic feet of cargo space. A bright overhead light lets people see everything they're storing in here. Carpeting protects the contents and gives the cargo area a finished look. To help keep cargo in place, a cargo net is optional. All Santa Fe's have a large in-floor storage area that can hold even more cargo. A separate storage compartment houses the jack and tools, keeping them neatly organized and ready for use when needed. A 12-volt power outlet gives rear passengers the use of powered coolers, computer games, and other electronic devices. And a household-style 115-volt outlet, standard on the limited V6, will run or charge many appliances, including a laptop computer or LCD TV. This completes your look at the cargo area of the Santa Fe.